There's been an awakening. Have you felt it? Yes, September 4th, 2015, 4th Friday, the day that all the new Star Wars merchandise comes out for Star Wars The Force Awakens. Anthony here. Welcome to my adventure vlog. Today I'm at downtown Disney at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. Today is Force Friday. Today where all the new Star Wars toys come down. So we're going to take a look at the world of Disney Store to see what kind of new Star Wars toys are available. Let's go check it out. How big is Force Friday? Well, several stores across the nation had a midnight opening. Target, Walmart, Toys R Us, and here at Disneyland at the World of Disney Store. This was the big release day for Force Awakens merchandise, such as these action figures. There is a mixture of characters from the classic movies, as well as the upcoming movie, The Force Awakens, coming out this December. A lot of fans are excited not just for the merchandise, but for what the implications could be from the merchandise such as this packaging for these new TIE Fighters that say the First Order. What does that mean? Is that uh, coming from the Rebellion or from the Empire? And here's a look at some of the new characters here, like uh, Stormtroopers. Uh, there's the new BB-8 droid that looks like a soccer ball. We have over here uh, toys for the new Flame Trooper. This is a new type of Stormtrooper that we've never seen before. Here is what I'm assuming is a new X-Wing pilot. And here is the villain, I think. His name is Kyle Ren. And here's a new playset. Yeah. It's like it has a Millennium Falcon and Sand. Uh, BB-8 toys. Looks like there's a new book about Princess Leia. New The Force Awakens t-shirt. And here's something exclusive to the theme parks, droids. And lots of new BB-8 merchandise. I can tell that BB-8 is going to be the big thing for this year. So here is a BB-8 spinning top with lights and sounds. And this is exclusive to the theme parks, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. And here is a one foot Kylo Ren doll. Yoda! Mm, buy my merchandise you will. Mm. There's a force push role play action set. Uh, looks like it's something where you push your hand towards it and it moves those objects. Uh, T-shirts, lots of Stormtrooper hats, Stormtrooper banks. And I just want to point out that that is the new design of the Stormtrooper helmet, which is different from the classic Star Wars movies. Uh, one foot dolls, lots of those. And we have mugs over here, Stormtrooper mugs, Kylo Ren mugs, uh, BB-8 cups. <laughs> and we have a Stormtrooper blaster that might have existed before Force Friday. Uh, we have a Chewbacca bowcaster, I think that's new. Over here we have some more blasters, uh, Star Wars Rebels toys, teacher, I've seen this one before. Looks like we have Star Wars cars over here, a uh, Disneyland t-shirt, lots more BB-8 toys. 
Another look at those Force Awakens action figures. And I've seen this before at the Star Trader in Tomorrowland, so it looks like they moved it over to the world of Disney. This is a Kappa board. I'm not sure which episode of Star Wars that one was from. And here are some uh, metallic figures that you can put together. And they're over here, flat metal figures. Lightsabers. Here are some action figures from the prequels. I'm assuming that this existed before. Uh, that's exclusive to the theme parks. Here are some Ewoks. So where's that place up with the sand earlier? It looks like it's called the Jakku sand place up. Jakku is the planet from the new Star Wars movie. It's a lot like Tatooine, but different planet. Oh, here's a BB-8 plushie. Looks like it's set to Disney pricing there. It's actually pretty big. I'm guessing it would be the actual size of a BB-8 droid. Looks like Furbies have returned, or in this case, a Furbaka. Kind of creepy looking if you ask me. And on the back, looks like there's a whole Furby family. Darth Vader, Furby Han Solo, Furby Princess Leia. There's a Wicked car, which is based on Wicked the Ewok from Return of the Jedi. Another look at that Force Push playset. Looks like it's a theme park exclusive. And lightsabers. We have uh, Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber. And over here is a Jedi holochrome. It's like a little electronic game here. Here's something that I've seen before. Darth Vader riding the Astral Arbiter at Disneyland. Judge me by my size, do you? Hmm? Looking for someone? Found someone you have? <laughs> Yoda is awesome, by the way. I could do Yoda impressions all day. Yoda! You seek Yoda! Do or do not. There is no trap. Ho oh, ho ho! Yoda hats! This stormtrooper is about three feet tall, by the way. Little known fact that stormtroopers love going to Disneyland. Look, more lightsabers. Can't get enough lightsabers. Here's some action figures based on the classic films. It's like we have Luke Skywalker, Yoda, uh, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, and Han Solo in Carbonite. This is what awesome looks like. Just saying. Daddy's little girl. It's like we have some Duffy Bears, Earth the Best Dark Vader, Princess Leia, and other princesses. There's an R2D2 toy. Oh, that's cool. It's like Duck Hunt. It projects TIE Fighters and you shoot at the projections with a blaster. R2D2 Rebel Trainer. BB-8 cars, about the size of Hot Wheels. 
and BB-8 lighted lanyard. It would probably go great with the Paint the Night Parade at Disney. Star Wars comic books. And I buy them in the series and that's uh, a <laughs> Legos! Legos! And Micro Machines! Star Wars toys! I haven't seen Micro Machines in forever. Didn't those die out in the 90s? Well, I guess that Micro Machines must have made a comeback just for Star Wars. I don't know. Legos, Legos, Legos. Here's some smaller BB-8 toys. Disney theme park exclusive. Star Wars toys for preschoolers. Start them out young. Look, R2D2 merchandise. So he hasn't been completely replaced by BB-8. Star Wars notebook. Looks like that's good for school. And action figures. And the classic Star Wars films. There's. Uh, slave Princess Leia, Jabba the Hutt, some more blasters, this one belongs to Boba Fett, the bounty hunter, here's a spinner toy, that's stuff. Here's a Wampa hat. Wampa is from Empire Strikes Back. And here's a t-shirt branded for Star Tours, which is the ride in Tomorrowland. Disney is well stocked on merchandise. Let's take a closer look at that BB-8 because I just can't get enough of BB-8. There's Rey, one of the new main characters in The Force Awakens. Official Star Wars The Force Awakens merchandise. Hat, shirts, stormtroopers. I really like the artwork on this hat. Makes me excited about what's going to happen in the new movie. iPhone 6 cover. Stormtroopers, Kylo Ren with that new uh, broadsword lightsaber. Stormtroopers. Wherever you see that castle logo on the top right means that it's a theme park exclusive. You won't find it at your typical Target or Walmart. Look at this. Kylo Ren's broadsword lightsaber lights up. It's not angry too. Since Disney owns Star Wars, they can do whatever weird crossovers they want. Like, here's one for cars. I really like how the new Stormtroopers have a familiar look to them, yet have an updated look.
Luke. Use the force, Luke. I find your lack of faith disturbing. Do not underestimate the power of the force. Lame trooper. Not for new mugs for your coffee holding needs. Here's that broadsword again. Storm trooper. Ooh, framed artwork. Collectible. The power of the force is in your hand. Find Darth Vader. Three, two, one. Did you find him? Here's a look at all the Star Wars t-shirts. Han Solo. Darth Vader, the different emotions of stormtroopers. I've seen this shirt before, so that's not exclusive to Force Friday. Darth Vader, yeah. Boba Fett and R two D two and Han Solo again. Kylo Ren's new broadsword lightsaber. That thing looks furious. That's your glows in the dark. Chewbacca hoodie. I can't really do a Chewbacca sound that well. Some Ewoks. New Star Wars toys at P Street. Let's go take a look in there. Ooh, here's that same BB-8 lanyard when it lights up. There's that new X-Wing with the blue stripes. What does that mean? The Force Awakens. Here's that other new main character, Finn. They didn't have him at the World of Disney store. Official Disney trading pins for The Force Awakens. This one must be special, it comes in its own box. It's not shiny. Stormtrooper, power. Join the resistance. What is the resistance? That wasn't in the classic ones. Maybe it's like the rebellion. The First Order, rule the galaxy. So many questions about that. Captain Phasma. That's really the first I've heard of that new character. Look, the resistance has almost the same logo as the rebellion from the classic Star Wars. The First Order. Ah, exciting stuff. What is the First Order? All right, I gotta try out one of these. Kylo Ren's broadsword lightsaber. I don't actually know if that's what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. Look at that, that thing looks furious. And it makes a slightly different sound from the normal lightsaber. The normal one's like, this one is all like, New comic books about Darth Vader. 
For many years, Star Wars comics were handled by Dark Horse, but now it's handled by Disney's own company, Marvel. You like Lano Calrissian? I think that's Obi-Wan Kenobi. I sense a disturbance in the force, as if millions of wallets were suddenly empty. It's a little hard to see in the dark, but there is a banner of Chewbacca up there. Okay, last stop of the night. Starbucks coffee and pour some special Force Friday drinks. We have an option of three drinks, dark side, green, master, and trooper. Only available for 24 hours of Force Friday. So the drink that I got is the dark side, which is apparently an espresso frappuccino with mocha whip and mocha drizzle. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Yes, the force is strong with this one. Thanks for joining me for Forest Friday at Downtown Disney. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Anthony's Adventure Vlog, and you can also follow me on Twitter at AnthonyTheGiant. May the Force be with you!